unfortunately, some of our colleagues, uh, Smash JT and Master of the TDS, have been very, very busy unraveling a lot of new information about Sweet Baby Inc., including their partnership with the Powell Group, uh, as well as also apparently the origins and the timeline of the company so mm -hmm. well let's let's start i suppose uh we have this article here that came in from that park place um but this is the latest in a story that actually began sort of friday saturday depending on where you are in the world where it appeared that sweet baby inc had partnered with this other company called the powell group and well this group uh are just another dei griff just another consulting firm um so it became really clear really quickly that this was just a way for sweet baby inc to finally get out from the shadow of gamergate and continue working which i don't know about you guys it tells me that we are very effective um yep. in our attempts to besiege that wretched company and mm. force them out of the industry if they're having to hide behind this company yeah i think uh kim belair ultimately she's uh trying to uh get some measure of anonymity back especially after she became so overexposed in recent weeks to the point that we really have no imagination left as to uh what's underneath her her cardigan sweaters and mm. all that so yeah yeah or we've, we've seen the stupid heart. woman in <laughs> She's done everything, hasn't she? She's yeah. been uncovered posing in her underwear. She's been uncovered fantasizing about shagging King Cooper, uh, who yep. I'm choosing not to call Bowser because I think to use his real title makes it even more ridiculous. Yeah. Um, what else? Antelopes? I mean, yeah, we I just... mean, like uh, the stuff with their dogs. Like she says she wants games to be even sexier than they are, but they just like it isn't a threshold for what she considers sexy. You know, it's like. So, yeah, no, I, I, I really do think that, uh, you know, short of her taking a, an extended leave of absence, this was, you know, right. kind of like the ace in the in the back, you know, in the, in the pocket, so to speak, to try to play to uh, to obscure herself in the mix. Oh, yeah. I mean, for sure, if they didn't have this in the running already, it certainly came about when she realized mm -hmm. that we had all discovered that fucking podcast where she yep. talks about about banging bowser um yeah. it, it's just ridiculous you know your ceo has been exposed as a known turtle botherer so it yep. is now time for you to um <laughs> yeah time for you to go into hiding a little bit so yeah so they they appeared to be hiding behind this company um although and i'm not quite sure where we are with with this but it appears that they're originating from the same company anyway so mm -hmm. it's just uh it's got a, it's got a longer service history and it's more bureaucratic uh in terms right, of its right. boring in its boringness so it's just you know it's this what companies do like uh, that, and if you and actually that's, get that's deliberate ahead. though john because the oh, best no. way the best way to to poison a topic of the day is to make it as dull and boring and this bureaucratic yeah. right. and as administrative as possible because then it's far more difficult to be a topic of the day to right. be uh, exposed. Oh yeah, oh, yeah no. I, I mean, a lot of like stuff's been hiding in plain sight. You know, I mean, for, Sweet for... Baby Inc. is a creepy fucking name. Everybody has mm -hmm. been saying this since we first discovered them. Like, Sweet Baby. And then we, we went down that rabbit hole, Ryan, where we found out all the background companies, like G Baby they, Ghosts and Weird, weird Ghosts. ghosts. And, yep. Yeah. And one it, thing it, we it didn't find. Back to Game one. Well, yeah. One, one of the things we didn't find, though, was the Powell Group. And no. I think that's very interesting. Well, that, and that's but, like but that's exactly said, what we were just saying. It's it's they, uh, they, bureaucratically run for a reason. They've gone with like, uh, you know, when uh, the, the story of when they made Return of the Jedi, mm -hmm. and they called it Blue Harvest, of course, which is where the Family Guy spinoff got the parody got the name from. They mm -hmm. wanted a movie title that sounded so nothing, not even like aggressively boring. Yeah, just a movie that sounds like. Yeah, that sounds like a movie. Yeah. <laughs> no that's why opinion a lot of companies, Yeah, that's why a lot yeah. of holding companies actually do the investing for the actual, you know, uh, major shakers and players in this whole stakeholder yeah. politic game 
Like, exactly. and, and that's the, and that's the sad thing about this is a lot of this stuff has been, uh, you know, hidden out in the open. It's just mm -hmm. it's right there on websites for years now. You know, it's like and everybody get ready to take a shot. I mean, this is like those higher level connections that I always bring up. Yeah. You all you have to do is just go to their website and it will detail. I'm, I'm just glad people are actually starting to get to this layer of the onion in terms of like how deep the rot goes in this. Because there's some certain stuff that I bring up that a lot of people still aren't ready to, and uh, and well, you have know, to be careful on YouTube as well about exposing true. this stuff quite. Well, John, John, you know, online. John, you know better than anyone else that the best tactic to use against uh, an opposition is to smother a story with something more bombastic and more mm -hmm. topical. Yeah. So, uh, looking at the Powell Group, we are talking about three decades worth of industry experience, yeah. and they've managed to stay under the radar this long so expect in the coming weeks more bombastic uh, topics of the day i mean uh, yeah. veil god was a great example of this it, that that topic is, is lit up like a christmas tree and this oh, yeah. is a sort of a secondary topic so expect more things like that as time goes on mm -hmm. especially so basically the, the way that mm. this has worked is that sweet baby inc has hidden themselves behind a company with a far more boring name mm -hmm. and yep. a far more corporate website in terms of bland colors no overt messages there's no trans colors on this website it all looks well, there wasn't, just as, there as wasn't. boring corporate business uh, yeah well yeah as it possibly can and this is yeah. exactly the same strategy as hiding a movie that, yeah. that is being made as a Star Wars sequel behind a bland title because it will drive the costs down of the equipment and everything you're renting to make the movie, which would have doubled right. in price if they knew that it was a Star Wars sequel. So that is, of course, a time-honored tradition when you're trying to get away with something. And yeah, yeah I can see, I mean, even the logo is... Yeah, it's not a bad logo, I suppose. It kind yeah, of looks no. like hands holding a controller, but also says P and G. Another tactic is to call yourself a group instead of just mm -hmm. one company, because then right. you automatically sound like you are a 250 to 1,000 employee group of companies. Right. Whereas right. you're, this is not. This is a this is a baby company. It's like 20 employees maximum. This is shell. Um, this is shell game. Yeah, it's a it's yeah. a cover for the group. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, so and they did the have this on their website. Our partner, Sweet Baby Inc., Pal Group partners with Sweet Baby Inc., a narrative development and consultation studio based in Montreal, working ar around the globe. But of course, once again, they don't have the cringe factor of that Sweet Baby logo. Mm. And that's what they were absolutely counting on. Yep. But then, of course, it got exposed by, uh, well, I saw at the same time, I don't know who got there first, Master of the TDS or Smash JT. Um, but it's been attributed here to uh, Gothic Therapy, so that would be Master TDS. Mm -hmm. says they're not just partnering with Sweet Baby Inc. They're going to help Sweet Baby Inc. reach a wider market, be able to appeal to more studios, more gamers, and more companies under a name that is more trusted in the industry. Okay, so they are yeah. better established. God, how bad would it be if literally a... If Sweet Baby Inc. got bigger? I mean, they're already working with AAA companies. What mm. the fuck is the level beyond that? Yeah. Right. Well, the, the next level, and this is still going to probably happen uh, no matter what, is, you know, this is what I've been talking about. Um, Ubisoft, they're using this company that's got a 15 year kind of uh, work history that doesn't have any, you know, uh, scandals or anything like that, any controversy attached to it, right. you know, um, to uh, to kind of get over the idea that, um, you know, it's like why I always why I keep saying we got to stop acting like this is a witch hunt and we're only going after witches. We have to go after the coven that all the witches emanate from. Oh yeah. And yeah. Quite, and quite honestly, Ubisoft, which is the whole reason why Ubisoft is being legitimately tanked right now is because this is them trying to scuttle the evidence of everything. I mean, if we all saw what, what Savvy, we saw what Madam Savvy had presented where mm -hmm. basically everybody came out of Ubisoft and formed mm -hmm. all these grifty companies. Right. And, yeah, go on. Uh, well, I was going to say, um, that information can actually be found, you know, like I said, uh, for everybody to get ready. Everybody's going to like, you know, like be t drunk as shit by the time I get done today if uh, I actually keep coming back to this. But, you know, the WF <laughs> United Nations own websites and uh, the Rockefeller Foundation, they strictly, you know, in the most boring way possible, they lay all this stuff out and how they partnered with Ubisoft, came up with the yeah. financial model for like doing this whole back end system to create this uh, Ponzi scheme that uh, does pump and dumps through 
uh, nonprofit organizations that they use to keep the actual business corporation safe because it's legalized corruption. And so like, you know, they can get away yeah. with it, uh, doing it through those means. And most people don't, you know, as we're sitting here saying, you know, they don't want to give two shits about a company called Powell Group because it sounds like, well, what are they are what are they involved in? It almost sounds like it's like it sounds uh, like anything. It sounds yeah. simultaneously too boring to care about, and mm -hmm. at the same time, possibly too big to be possible to take right. down. Right. Which so it turns out it's not. <laughs> it's right. just another sweet baby ink, possibly even smaller. Dark but magic I mean, through parlor tricks. Yeah, you know? it's all just using the corporate sheen to hide. You know, that's yeah. that's what what it is, of course. Um, so you know, they had this partnership, um, which they advertised on their LinkedIn page and their website, and uh, well, that hasn't worked out. <laughs> or rather, if they are still partnering with Sweet Baby Inc., they sure as fuck ain't telling anybody about it because yeah. they don't want anyone to know i suppose via dark um it did go ahead and break it that uh, they had removed the sweet baby ink partnership announcement page so there was actually a uh, url you could visit yeah. that had then completely disappeared you do have to uh, appreciate so, how where sbi goes they take their pieces of the rainbow with them you know mm -hmm. as like yeah i mean that that is one one tell that they do have because as you're saying like there's not really a whole bunch of trans this or that on power mm. site but other yeah, than no, like yeah. this uh this post right here about the partnership as it were well it's a great it, th this is a great opportunity for the powell group to simply swallow sbi deny any kind of association gaslight people like us into oblivion mm -hmm. and then accuse us of spreading fake information uh in the process while they scrub uh things like this from the website now usually that wouldn't fly but if you are protected by the entertainment establishment uh they will back you up they will dogpile their opponents namely us into oblivion and then yeah. label us all dangerous conspiracy theorists and extremists if our opposition was smart they would do that but they yeah. will not that's exactly right. So it seems they got rumbled. And first of all, do you know? I noticed um, when I looked at this earlier, uh, with these blocks and stuff, you know, that's just some generic, again, corpo poster mm -hmm. crap. But then behind it is the, you know, uh, what did we say? It was basically a, a cutesy symbol of an abortion happening. Um, yeah. When we analyzed the logo way back when, it, God, it's been a long I, year, and I, I, I would say it's hypnotic, but that's the it's name Ubisoft, it's yeah. It's hmm. kind of hard to it's, make out. On it's kind of like a Ubisoft logo. Quite it's honest. a twirly so Falcon spear. Yeah, it's yeah. a it's a twirly whirly thing. Which when I first noticed it, I thought, oh, that kind of looks like hypnotic's eyes. But uh, if you go on. Well, I was just going to say, um, it's it does look like hypnotic, but that's Ubisoft as well. Like the Ubisoft logo is that spiral. and It's and the Sweet Baby Ink spiral that sits in right, the baby's right. belly. Right, right, in, right. But in the, their logo. But, but that logo is derivative of Ubisoft because they're a derivative of Ubisoft. Like, And, and this is the thing. Like, I swear, uh, when they started scrubbing the uh, SBI, that's how, you know, that's the latest. I mean, this thing was in the work for a minute. But once they started scrubbing this, that was the setup to do the Powell Group Association because there was enough time in between. Oh, yeah. It was a distraction tactic. Everybody's looking over here at this website that, you know, we've all had issues with nonstop. Well, they go and just kind of like take a pedestrian leisurely walk over here where, when nobody's looking in that direction to try to like set up shop under this, uh, you know, larger umbrella, which isn't even a larger umbrella. It's just a different umbrella. Yeah. I mean, they've they've just obviously they've tried to undo the association yep. in that way, uh, but they they obviously needed to have their logo in there somewhere um, for the benefit of the you know association of the two companies. Symbology. And, uh, now all of that is gone. So yeah, the semiotic reference is no use to them anymore. So they've had to get rid of it and get rid of their. Of, advertising of their association but i'll be very very surprised indeed if they actually aren't working together still mm. it just seems like this is just a smoke screen just to try and throw people off i, I mean it's congrats everywhere. the net result of this is now we know about the pal group mm. thanks dickheads now we'll be yeah. watching them too
love you was here Reality, baby 